One of the rare good things to come out of 2020 was the beginning of the new Darth Vader comic series. The 2020 series has been very good so far, but there is a story going on in the background during these last issues that I don't think anybody really noticed, and I want to talk about it specifically today with you guys, starting from issue number 7 of the Darth Vader 2020 series. If you have read those or watched my videos, you know that Palpatine left Darth Vader to survive on Mustafar, all broken down, and he for bade him from using the force. What Darth Vader did next is he headed for a Separatist base on Mustafar. In fact, it was the same one that he infiltrated as a young Darth Vader when he killed the Separatist leaders after Order 66. Once he went inside, we get introduced to a mouse droid, to a Separatist mouse droid that immediately attended to Darth Vader. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to call this mouse droid Mousy. In the comics, we don't get a distinction of his name or identity. He basically is just a simple mouse droid doing his duty, but throughout these comics he becomes very attached to Darth Vader and helping him any way he can, and by the end you can feel the sadness when Darth Vader finally leaves. Inside, Darth Vader reminisces about his past, him killing Newt Gunray, his corpse is right there. Everything from his past had come back to haunt him, but Mousy did not see it that way. In fact, Mousy approached Darth Vader and upon contact, his cybernetics sparked with Mousy for a bit until Darth Vader grabbed him and created an opening for him. Being the perfectionist engineer that Anakin always was, Darth Vader followed similarly to his past identity and reprogrammed Mousy to go grab mechanical arms and legs for Darth Vader to attach them. Naturally, Mousy went on to grab a super battle droid leg, all these battle droid legs that were laying around, and subsequently essentially operating on Darth Vader and attaching these new limbs. As much as it hurt, Darth Vader tolerated the pain. But his helping nature did not stop there. In fact, once Darth Vader reprogrammed him, Mousy went on to recruit even more mouse droids around him to help out with this venture, and they repaired Darth Vader as best as they could. As you can see, this is the final product that we see after Palpatine had left him completely helpless on the lava banks of Mustafar. This is the time when the Sith assassin Ochi of Bestoon enters the area, and even though Vader disappears, you can see Mousy making a run for it and essentially distracting Ochi of Bestoon from what was about to happen as Darth Vader lunged at him and attacked and hit the assassin on the arm. Afterwards, Darth Vader disappeared again, secretly conversing with Ochi of Bestoon, and on the left side, you can see Mousy searching for Darth Vader, who was talking from a secret hiding place. As the battle moves on and Vader ventures outside of that base and goes to the Eye of Webbish Bog in his cave, we don't get to see Mousy again until after Vader gets the Wayfinder from the Eye of Webbish Bog and goes back to where his Jedi Starfighter was left decades ago. He finds it deactivated laying there, and as he sat to rest. It was at that time that we see, again, Mousy approaching Darth Vader. While we know that Darth Vader is the irritated type, he does not tolerate foolishness for too long, you can clearly see from, from these comic pages that Darth Vader is not bothered by Mousy at all. And again, I wouldn't fault you for missing this, this backstory because it was subtly hidden until you pay close attention. And you see that Mousy became very infatuated with Darth Vader and maybe, just maybe, vice versa as well. And now we come to the last issue, issue number 9 that came out a couple of days ago. Assassin droids together with Ochi of Bestoon are trying to kill Darth Vader by any means necessary. The Sith Assassin had promised the Assassin droids that Vader was the Empire's most valuable weapon, therefore they wanted to harvest it for parts. But Vader simply crushed all of them once he, once he got his hands on his red lightsaber and therefore decided to expand his rebuilding ideas, but not to his suit, but now using these assassin droids, the, the, their parts for repairing his old Jedi Starfighter that was deactivated all these years. Helping Darth Vader repair his Jedi Starfighter was, of course, Mousy together with his friends. You can see that there's an abundance of mouse droids that were that were recalled from the Separatist base up in the hill, and now they are down at the lava banks trying to recoup whatever was left of these droid parts and repairing Vader's Jedi ship. In the end, unfortunately for Mousy, Darth Vader discovers quickly where Palpatine's secrets lie. He finally found out the truth about Exegol, 
Palpatine's secret plan would soon come under scrutiny with Vader's knowledge. Vader's eyes will be feasted on all those cloning facilities and everything that was there. But this might be premature because simply because this is about 40 years before what we see in Rise of Skywalker, Exegol might, might be completely different. But all in the same, Darth Vader entered his Jedi Starfighter that was repaired in part by the mouse droids and mousey, and as you can see by the background, they were left without a goodbye. In fact, to give us a finality or a closure to, to Vader's departure, while his Starfighter is traveling outside of the planet, you can see down below, Mousy's sadness. Even though it appears as a cheering as a cheering note because the comic page reads we exclamation point, I feel like Mousy was very attached to Darth Vader and became attached to him as he saved his life time and time again. Not only did he attach multiple droid parts to him, he was essentially reprogrammed by Anakin, by Darth Vader. He was to be in service to him for the rest of time. And now he is again left without a master. So this final comic strip gives us a final goodbye for Mousy. Mousy's and Darth Vader's relationship was not going to last long. But I do hope we get another glimpse at what I call Mousy. I would have loved to. I would have loved to somehow given him an official name. We don't get a name by reading the comics. But I don't care. I'm going to call him Mousy. And Mousy, I hope we see you again. Hopefully soon. And where else but Mustafar? Hey, maybe working on Darth Vader's castle. Who knows? Guys, let me know what did you think about Mousy and how he helped Darth Vader along with repairing his parts and repairing his starfighter and so forth and so forth. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, leave a thumbs up down below. Subscribe for dailies. Now you can have an awesome day, Star Wars fans. I'll see you in the next video. And may the Force be with you. Until then.